What's up guys and gals and welcome to VV Vibes. And so today we're doing a quick vibe check on the market. Uh, today is February 25th at about uh, 7.05 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we have the first appearance of Bishop uh, comic drop that's gonna happen here uh, within the hour. I wanna get this video out to you guys so you guys have something to watch while the market is closed for the most part. So quick thing to mention is that yesterday, VV actually finally gave some, I won't say finally, they actually gave us this information on the MTL of like a little over a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago, their last AMA, Reese actually went pretty in depth, like, hey, you need a thousand gems in your account and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, but Vivi just officially posted it on their Twitter. And I think this definitely, definitely caused a further gem squeeze, let's let's just say. Our things just hyper squeezed for probably a few hours last night and then might have recovered. Some things were probably still uh, down to those same levels as we've seen before. But there is the Medium article here. Uh, I'll probably link it below if I can remember down in the description so you guys can check out the details. But it's just funny because this is all information Reese covered like a week and a half ago. But I guess on that Discord AMA, there was only like 4,000 people in the Discord. But now that we finally have it on Twitter, which is obviously an open platform, more people can see it. Tens of thousands of people saw it. So I think people just, uh, just really uh, over exaggerated, just whatever it is, or just over hyped the, 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 the MTL that it explains basically everything other than when MTL is actually going to be released, uh, fully or when we're going to stop doing like beta tests and stuff like that. So I did see a lot of stuff go down really quickly. So we'll, we'll do, we'll do the top gainers really quick. But when I was looking last night, there was lenticular cards going for a full hundred gems off from already where they were like Donald was pushing, like, uh, I think like almost 400 gems at one point, pretty much mini and and uh, and Daisy were both going for below 300 gems. Iron Man was going for like 1.2K at one point, like things were just getting really sold off. Like basically all of the, the grills or some of the high end uh, NFTs were just getting absolutely choke slammed um, on the market. So. <clears throat> So we look here really quick so top gainers on the hour we do have actually harley quinn number five so some of the harley quinns have been moving around quite a bit recently um i kind of want to check out their grass if they're actually going up and staying up or are they going up and then just getting sold off pretty quickly so it looks like the number five harley quinn um listing just looks like your standard like gem squeeze right everything everything is just falling down right now and it seems like the last few times there was kind of a push up there's eventually a sell off i still believe in my firm opinion um that everything is going to revolve around MTL. Uh, no matter what announcements we get between now and MTL and until we get more uh, concrete examples of what's going on, um, I don't think we're ever going to hit this upper limit um, of, let's say, just for this Harley Quinn, for example, like, I, I just don't think we're going to hit the top 20, 25% um, or even 30% until we fully get MTL out. People can actually cash out. People feel comfortable buying at these absolute lows and we actually get some more collectors on the platform rather than people that are just looking to flip or looking to just cash out. Um, in the meantime so yeah looks like harley quinn got a nice little pump in the meantime i fully expected to get sold off people are right now are just starving for profit anywhere they can get it uh basically over the last month or so so don't expect that to stay up um too high for too long uh in my personal opinion so i'll turn that down a tiny bit um <clears throat> yucky charmer up so right now we're getting to the point where like the only things that are up right now the top gainers are usually all below 10 percent, which isn't that much movement uh for a very speculative nft market in a closed um you know in a closed market like like vv for the most part so a lot of these upward movements just i think they're just slight upticks they could be delistings it could be just people literally buying the bottom two listings and all of a sudden the price goes up uh five ten percent or whatever so um you know frog lightning leap uh gosh that thing is below 300 gems i remember buying these a while ago and selling them for almost 500 Little Friend Silver is sub 600. Lincoln Ripper Board is below 60 gems. The Cthulhu Idol uh, NFTs. I remember there was a lot of hype around the, not even hype, but just ever since the um, Cthulhu company kind of pulled their NFTs or they're kind of like trying to figure out a way to, to renegotiate or do whatever it is they're going to do. Those got pumped up and immediately got sold off all the way down to their all-time lows. Um, yeah, the, the Cthulhu idols, idols have never been sold for below 150 up until literally last night at 135. People saw the MTL um, announcement people probably just panic sold or like oh my god mtl is here maybe they didn't even read the article they just saw mtl and just started selling everything off so uh we'll do a couple more of the top gainers but not much just as color uh is up a little bit oceana is up poster yeah i mean at this point everything's going up five percent which is you know we're, we're talking at that point for some nfts like less than 10 gems top losers this is really what we need to look at captain america the punch the rare is actually down 33 percent um so at one point it was 150 now it's 99 um do i think this is a good pickup i think it's all right um it's almost at its absolute bottom it's not there yet but it's definitely approaching its absolute bottom uh but yeah that thing completely just fell off a cliff uh specimen 
uh, number four, down 32%. So now it's down to uh, 370 instead of 540 or whatever it was at before. Uh, Labit Ornament, I do remember this one being dumped very quickly. So this one lost 30% of its value. The Cosmic Cthulhu is down 17%. That's the Cryptkin. Uh, Little Friends Gold, wow, is all the way down to 2,900. So this is what I've been telling people for the last week. Just hold off. I mean, any, any announcement other than even if they do it's whatever's going to happen whatever's going to help the market recover it's all gonna, in my personal opinion it all revolves around mtl so once they announce um the first wave of people that are going to you know that aren't going to be beta testers or whatever but once they announce the first wave of people that are going to get it let's just you know let's just say second week of march whatever it is um that might be the time to buy or it could be a few weeks later where they say hey uh, MTL's fully rolled out. Everyone has it. You know, some at some point, whatever an official announcement, we actually get a actual date around MTL. That could be the time to start buying, or maybe things things might get squeezed a little bit more, but then it's going to rebound back up. I think the MTL sell off has already been happening. I think it's honestly been happening since like the end of January, um, or like probably like mid January at this point. I think I think this retracement is just natural retracement from just the the two to three week pump we had in January. But then when we're looking at like this, once it starts like really starts slowing down and now it's just going down and down and down. In my opinion, I think that's an MTL thing. And I think as we gotten more talk going around MTL and as um, economy keeps bringing it up, people are still just going to just keep selling off uh, at this point. I do think some people uh, that might have came into the app with, you know, 100, 150 gems. Uh, maybe they, they've done really well for themselves over the last six months to, to a year. And to them, maybe selling at a loss in their mind, it's like, hey, it's not really a loss because I only put in $150 in the app. Now I'm up, you know, let's say $5,000. Like anything I sell off is still profit. Even if I do take a hit, uh, it's all theoretical money in their mind, right? So maybe they're just trying to just cash out or just try to get the money as soon as possible. And there are people out there that are, you know, hurting for money, just trying to get the money uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, Rare DeLorean is now below 100 gems. So that's down 27% um him his infernal majesty i believe that's what it stands for is down to five thousand. gosh I remember when this thing was like wasn't this was 17k at one point i'm gonna have to look this up <clears throat> uh zombie well that's loading zombie hunter spider-man <laughs> down to one 112 i remember buying these at 260 270 thinking they were an amazing deal and i sold uh, actually a lot of them um just shy of like 500 but now it's it's down to 112 which is just crazy to think about um no, 1400 that's or 14,000 that's where him was at at one point that was like an all-time high killer croc man that's one of the biggest bags on the app down 26 percent so 460 gems for batman versus killer croc uh spider-man 2099 at 1200 gems makari down 23 percent battle mode uh voltron down to 220 gems wow i remember selling this thing for i think 650 gems probably a month and a half ago or about a month ago so i'm really glad i cashed that out when i did uh, marking time poster ultraman ace um this looks like ultraman ace is down to 800 gems kind of want to check out the charts on this okay hopefully it'll get hung up hung up around here and it probably won't go any lower than um maybe 750 at the most but as of right now it does seem like i, th I think it's actual level support like it's it's either going to stop at 750 or it could drop all the way down to like 500 it's like it's kind of crazy to think about but it's like one of the two it's either going to get hung up here at its retest where it was back in january or it's going to go all the way back down and where people have been buying it for quite some time probably around the uh, 300 mark so like i said it's either going to stop at 750 or go all the way down to like 400 it's one of the two sorcerer's hat uh got hit pretty hard too as well it's all the way down to 2300 uh you're the tiger stamp uh down 18 percent in deadpool uh, secret rare all the way down to 1300 gems wow i remember telling people you know i remember talking with people a while back when this thing was at 1800 gems 1900 gems saying it, you know it's not like the best buy to get but it's it's a pretty secure buy to get but yeah this gem squeeze is just continuing in my personal opinion it's it's still going to continue all the way until we get some sort of official mtl announcement or whatever it is we will see slight upticks in the meantime i'm not saying it's just going to be doom and gloom it's going to do nothing but go down over the next few weeks or months until mtl but we will see slight upticks of maybe 10 15 maybe 30 percent if there's an announcement or an mcu movie coming out or whatever it is but expect that uptick to be very very short-lived and people immediately try to sell it for profit uh, while they can just because that's just how things are going in the market uh, quick overview of comics hopefully we have the the jungle comics on here uh, for some reason when I put on top gainers as well as top losers it's not showing the actual amounts uh, in the comics of like how much they're up right now so maybe we could just speculate like how much it's up maybe I'll click on the first few 
uh, mostly maybe the secret rares to see how much they've actually gone up. So, uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 361. That's the first appearance of Carnage. Uh, it looks like it was at uh, roughly 1100. Now it's up to, maybe, well, it's a 24 hour run. So I uh, actually got to like zoom in here just a tiny bit, get the 24 hour. So it looks like, yeah, at one point it was 900. Now it's up to, to uh, 1100 or 1140. So it's up quite a bit. Um, again, I, I'm not seeing the numbers exactly on like how much they're up right now. So it looks like Iron Fist is up. Amazing Spider-Man number 14, which is the first appearance of Green Goblin, uh, is up as well. Not sure by how much we can pull that chart up. Um, in the meantime, po Powers of X number one, Secret Rare, is up as well. Uncanny X-Men 129 is up as well. So let me zoom in here. I'm just kind of curious to see how much movement there was here. So last 24 hours, it was at 650. Now it's at 800. Uh, talking about the Amazing Spider-Man number 14. So it does seem like some of the Secret Rare as well as some of the uh, Ultra Rare comics are actually holding their value uh, decently well. Uh, Thor number 337. This is actually a comic I was talking about quite a bit on Rob Stuff stream last night. I was kind of on there just hanging out. Sleeping in comics showed up. We we're kind of talking about Beta Ray Bill and how he might play a somewhat significant role just in the future he's also and just the the mint numbers are super low i mean 250 secret rare comics i mean if you look at some of the other secret rare comics we we're looking at um you know amazing spider-man had 1400 uh amazing spider-man that the first appearance of carnage had 600 um so it's like very very low mints <clears throat> for the most part and then we have uh 2000 so it was at 2,000, now it's up to 2,400. So it's seen a significant increase of 350 gems in the meantime. We'll look at the top losers. Again, without seeing like the actual numbers, it's really hard to tell. Um, and I do have to wrap up this video here pretty soon. Uh, Vote Loki, which is not the newest comic, but it's one of the newer comics um, on the platform. I still not seeing the, um, the Jungle Action comic that came out most recently. It's the first appearance of Killmonger. So still not sure if maybe Ikomi Wiki is lagging behind with that, or maybe just on the comic side of things that has not been updated. Not entirely sure, but it's kind of interesting that we're not seeing uh, the first appearance of Killmonger on anywhere on here, either in the top gainers or losers. Uh, but Vote Loki is probably probably the cheapest secret rare comic on the platform, if not one of the, 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 the three cheapest. So we're seeing a lot of Vote Loki on here. Looks like it's just going, okay, it's not going in order of release date. It just so happens that both Loki is the lowest. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one is actually down. That's interesting. Same thing with Daredevil number one common. I'm gonna look at these two charts and then we'll probably wrap it up. Maybe we'll look at Golden Moments and Lenticular cards here really quick. Uh, yeah, that is crazy. Amazing Spider-Man number one uncommon. Looks like there might be just one listing that someone just either mispriced or just heavily undercut, but it's all the way down to 170. So it's was at 234, now it's at 170 for Amazing Spider-Man uncommon. And then Daredevil number one, right now it's at 70 gems. Let's see where it's at prior. So we can kind of get an idea of how much it's dropped off. So 24 hours ago, it looks like it was probably at about 72 gems, 73 gems. Now it's at 70 gems. So slight, slight downtick for the most part. But I did want to check out, of course, Golden Moments, Lenticular cards, that kind of stuff. Um, we'll even check out the steamboat willy stuff as well so this is what i was saying like daisy duck is both 300 gems so she's actually down 10 percent goofy goofy at one point i believe was selling for 1.2k which is absolutely crazy thinking it's a lenticular card it's a secret rare um yeah that one went down quite a bit Minnie mouse is below 300 gems donald duck uh was touching 400 gems for a while i saw a few listings for 399 uh, for Donald Duck, but right now he is chilling at 450, so it's down 10%. So pretty much all the lenticular cards across the board are down pretty much anywhere between 10 to 15%, um, except for Donald, which I still think, in my opinion, gem for gem, or it's th one of the strongest cards uh, in the, the lenticular set. And Pluto is down to uh, 530 right now, so yeah, pretty crazy. Altogether now, Mickey uh, sitting at about 3.4k, Jaunty Jig is at 400, and Happy Whistle is at about 500 gems right now. Uh, we'll look at Golden Moments really quick and then we'll wrap up this video lady in the tramp wow being sold for seven or 670 uh i did see it earlier today for like 610 like literally earlier this morning probably about an hour ago so it was going for 610 it looks like it has seen a slight uptick but yeah yeah this this was down probably closer to 20 to 25 percent not just 15 percent so it's actually recovered a bit uh Thon daisy duck is being sold for sub 1000 um I, would, I don't want to say I never thought I would see the day that this would happen, but it's it's still so new that we're in the middle of a gem squeeze. And there's a lot of MTL announcements and also big announcements coming up um, over the horizon. So it, it probably doesn't surprise me too much. Uh, Parter Statue going for 25,000 uh, gems. I remember some people in my chat tell, asking me the last couple of days, like, hey, 
I have quite a few gems. Should I buy a partner statue? Do you think it'll go lower? I'm like, yes, I think it'll go lower. I think this gem squeeze is just going to continue uh, until we get some more formal MTL announcements for the most part. Uh, R2D2 going for sub 5,000. I believe it was a little bit closer to 4K at one point. I believe there was some listings at like 4.2. C3PO has actually gotten a slight uptick, uh, but still just shy of 3K. Iron Man going for 1.4. Like I said earlier, I think there was some listings for 1.2. So it seems like things were really bottoming out. I don't know if people were just uh, doom and gloom, like, oh my God, MTL is here. They just read the article. They probably didn't even read it because it was it was a pretty lengthy article. So maybe they just saw MTL, they thought it was out already and the people just started fire selling uh, all of their stuff, not reading the article, just saying, hey, here's how to do it. But there's still zero timeline as to like when we're gonna get it. Avengers logo below a thousand. Wally at around 800, disrespecting my boy Wally. And then Pizza Planet Truck, still shy of a thousand. Elsa sitting at 2099. Mickey Swords for Sat, like I said earlier, 2300. Homer and Bart, uh, still hovering around a thousand. And Skateboard uh, being, is it the cheapest? No, it's not cheaper than uh, Lady and the Tramp, which I did say for a while, Lady and the Tramp will probably be the cheapest gold of the moment um, in the set. Even though it's a double FA, there's only been two movies ever of Lady and the Tramp, which is like 1955 and I think like 2019 when they did like the remaster or the remake or whatever you want to call it. But that's it for Lady and the Tramp. So over the last like 70 years, they've only had two movies. So I don't think it's a it's not an IP or thing that like seems like Disney's really trying to push. But yeah, so the, the gem squeeze continues. And again, I, I really... I know if you guys have a ton of gems, um, you know, just grabbing that Walt or grabbing some high-end stuff, some Grails, like, uh, you know, it's it might be, it's, it's probably smarter just to grab those sooner rather than later. But if you are really trying to squeeze uh, the maximum value as you can out of every gem, I would still hold off just for a little bit longer. I know people are kind of panicking. Maybe, maybe I wake up one morning and then everything across the board is up 40%. That seems very unlikely. And even if things do go up 30%, I still think everything revolves around MTL. And until we get rid of all those people that are just on the platform to just sell off our gems or whatever it is. Um, yeah, but that, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, hope you guys take care. And remember to double and triple check all of your listings before you uh, buy or sell anything uh, on the BV app. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll take care and uh, see you guys on the flip side.